it is a, a morning in my May first, twenty twenty two. It's the first day in May, and uh, it's this day all over the world where the workers are going out and walking around and demonstration and uh, when I hear about it I was uh, when I was a teenager young teenager uh, I was uh, walking uh, with this demonstration groups and with a communist uh, because uh, I was thinking it was cool <laughs> as a teenager I was in this um, negative uh, uh, groups uh, events uh, because it, it is when you are a teenager that is you thinking uh, in another way than you do as an adult, mostly, mostly people do, and uh, is this to rebel and the rebellish mind set that uh, make teenager do these things? It's to test test uh, the world test the parents test uh, everything and make up their own mind of what is cool and not cool and this is a, a way to to experience life and grow into the to the world and um, and walk away from where we was from the beginning when we were with God and it make this uh, to walk away from God's plan for us and uh, I know many that uh, have been raised in a religious family and they Re, they rebellish from it and uh, many times is it that uh, those uh, preacher uh, they have going f for the world and pick their partners in, in marriage uh, that should look good petite and have all these things that the world want to see uh, on the side of a, a preacher and uh, and the devil knows that and he put his children in front of these people that are going for what the world see with their eyes what is on the outside, the worldly eyes see, and uh, the devil knows us so much. So it's not that he need to learn because he have been here around us uh, from the day one, and uh, so he knows us and. Uh, Jesus say that uh, that you should if someone is uh, deny yourself and take up the cross uh, to follow me that can do that uh, he say that and uh, it to deny yourself is to deny your nature that is not about deny your gender 
like it is today in all over the world that is not about the gender uh, because all gender should be accepted and uh, they for to uh, forget yourself take away the nature in you and you know what the nature is that is your wants uh, and you want to have the same thing that the world want and you have to go away from it and thinking that what's in God's will what can I do to to work for God and do what he he want me to do and how to uh, could focus on God's plan for me that is what it what is about uh, not uh, to to forget yourself that to make you be on a lower uh, on a lower um, level to be the one that is the last uh, it's not about that is you can love yourself and and uh, uh, know that you you deserve to to be on a higher level than what you are thinking just now about yourself it's uh, not to be selfish to love yourself but uh, uh, what the bible is talking about uh, to love yourself in the last days is this that you love your your own gender if you are a woman you love women and if you are a man you love men that was the bible is talking about in the last days and uh, we see it uh, the whole time um, in the most in the western world and then is it whores in um, thailand and in in other countries where they they have to survive in some way to get the money and and some people are money hungry also and they they do what the what they see the world want them to be so there is many in like india and thailand and i i don't i should not say all countries but you know who they are so those countries that have these people that most of it that they are so poor so they have to to sell themselves in that way that uh, that they go for to be women but they are men uh, and not so much about women be uh, women be men but men will be women and this kind of things and it have growing and we have it uh, the whole time on on this uh, my television here in Sweden uh, it's it's uh, the whole time when I open up my television there is channels that is all full of uh, discussing sinful things like there is a program uh, that i i come into uh, i i sap uh, i i only sit and look uh, a little for some seconds what the channel have to offer me and and there 
is just now is it I think it was Friday when um, late when there is no like more family friendly channels uh, programs when it's late in the evening and and we have this uh, from England very much and uh, you can tell uh, it's a uh, commercial before the programs start it's about uh, buying alcoholic things and to play games with money and uh, those are killer tools it's killed people and um, and then it's coming this program and there is uh, one uh, uh, English uh, show that is uh, I shake in my head because because it's about uh, be nude in the program and I have watched it for, uh, in the beginning to see what's about I saw one episode of it and it's um, uh, there is about six men and uh, they open up the their legs and then what what they have between their legs uh, nude and uh, <coughs> for me it does look ugly uh, it's not nice anymore for me I am happy that I feel like that they are not of interest for me anymore and um, and then they pick they don't pick a man but they take away one man that they don't like what they see. <coughs> they don't know how we talking. They don't know how he look like in the, his face. And most of those is uh, men that is there is full of tattoos. And some is really bad tattoos with evil tattoos and then they 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 pick uh, one that have to go and then they can see their face how they look like and then they put the clothes on and then they look all of them look very nice with the clothes on and uh, and then they sit only one left and uh, they do a date and uh, it seems uh, I don't know I have not watched it uh, but I think uh, it doesn't work uh, they don't don't fit each other it's only the outside they they look at and pick the date and then the what's inside of those people she and he and that is something else than what they see on the outside and that is so so very telling what it's all about that uh, everything look good because on the outside but they don't know anything about that person they pick for a date and uh, it is like that for in other way also even when you when they have the clothes on and and they pick from internet they pick from ads they pick uh, people tell to have a date with that person and uh, I have learned from bad experience that you should do date 
uh, in public. Always have people around you when you start to date. Not take them home. Don't go to their home. Do the in public. So you can escape if something showing. I had once um, a man I, I was sitting and date. And he had a knife under the table. And he told me to go and buy beer for him. Uh, for my money, of course. Or else he should kill me. He said to me, and hold the knife under the table so I can see it, but other people didn't see it. And because you don't expect a knife under the table. And so, but I was too smart for, for to do it. Uh, I go uh, uh, and uh, should buy a beer. But God had placed two men that was really big, <laughs> like bodybuilders, a man was standing there where I said, ask for to buy a beer. And I told them what have happened. I said that uh, it's a man that have a knife under the table. And... Uh, threaten me and uh, I, I want I need help to to go away from this situation I told them so they uh, went out with me and and they wait for me to take the bus back home so they helped me and uh, uh, and uh, that uh, that uh, teach me about uh, dating, but I have done uh, these uh, wrong things. To went home to to men, and uh, it have been sometimes very bad situations, and. Uh, uh, also that they coming home to me and that's not good the first time you have to do it in public and um, because you don't know it it can look very nice in the second it, it can change you know it you that have been in this situation it's can go very quick when they turn around and be the evil one. They look really good. Uh, the devil look look often very nice and he talks smooth to us and and we think, oh, this is a great date. This is a great person. And, and we flirt and want to be together with that person. And then it show up that that was the devil. That have happened many times in my life as the devil had been um, hunting me and want to kill me. But uh, yesterday uh, it was the... After he left, and uh, in the night, I didn't have any uh, bad dreams, and uh, I. Uh, in this morning, I wake up and I was singing, and uh, I feel like a special. I feel very special in my body, in my mind, it's uh, some kind of relaxing that was something that he took with him when he went out from me. It was like something cleaning or and healing in my body when he was inside me. 
so whatever was uh, still inside me that thing was going away from me uh, because I I don't feel any stress. I feel very calm. And uh, so he did to me what he say he, he's going to do. Uh, in the end of, of days or the end of day um, that he is going to kill his offspring because he understand that this was not good. It was not a good idea to do what I have done. And and that's what he's showing me now. That something was in in me that caused problem for me. And um, and then I also did that I placed after that he was gone, I placed the picture of my uh, grandchild. That little, it's a boy that holding the cat. And uh, the devil have taken him. I don't see him anymore, uh, my grandchild. Because the devil have him. And uh, affect him and have placed uh, him, his offspring in his mind now, and uh, it's my way to place the picture of my grandchild that is with the devil, to to make the devil to understand that you have to go and free my grandchild from from your offspring you need to do that that's my offspring that you you have going to take my 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 son first of all and then he he also have taken my grandchild the boys <coughs> Both are our boys, and that's what what it says in the Bible about the the woman with the, this fa uh, uh, a fight with the dragon, and she get help, and but the dragon is after her her offspring, and. Uh, that's what have happened for me. That the devil have taken my my son, uh, but but it is uh, it's uh, my fault also because I go for the nature in me. I didn't deny myself in that moment, but. But that also is an excuse for me because I didn't know God. Today I should be aware about it, be awake about it. But in that time I choose my son's father. The devil have placed him in front of me, that father of my child. And he was very evil man he had, uh, he took a knife on me and threatened me to to cast me out from the balcony from the 10th floor so uh, he was i have to run away from my son's father but i didn't know that my son should be the same he's and uh, my son is not violent he is like the devil that he sneak, he hide and do evil things. When people, when you, 
when people is not around he do th- bad things and uh, and that was his father the same thing also that he never did any bad things to me when there was people around me but uh, when the door was closed and we were by ourselves then he was the evil and uh, my so-called friends they uh, ask me why did you leave him he was so kindly he was so nice why did you leave left him and uh, they took his side and uh, and was not my friends and i they have tried to come back now and want to be my friends but they they choose they pick their side of it and they didn't want to know my side of it and uh, uh, and then uh, it's uh, 2013 no it's 2003 it was when he was killed my son's father because he was drinking very much alcoholic and he didn't care that he had diabetes so he got a heart attack in the hospital and is this permanent this real heart attack that you can't do anything about it the heart only die it start it go down and stop forever and uh, most of the time they can t- shake up the heart again uh, uh, or do any surgery to make it start again or or change it to another heart and like this but there is uh, it's a time when uh, you can't do anything about it. Even if he was in the emergency room when he got a heart attack, they couldn't help him. And my son, my daughter, I don't have any contact with my son since three years. But my daughter have contact with him and she say that he have diabetes now, uh, my son. And he, my daughter is saying that he don't care that he have diabetes. He eat like he always have eaten. So he will, he will go the same way as his father. If not, something happened that changed his mind. But he is like on his father lying age. I know the. Uh, my son's grandfather on his father's side he was exactly the same and uh, so the there was very deep in this uh, about my son he is very mental sick but he he is allowed to to take care of his children too uh, it's a son and a daughter and uh, the daughter is very sick mentally but the son is not uh, i had a hope for him but now he i don't am allowed to uh, see my grand grandson because he, of his father have closed the door to me but i hear about him from my daughter and I'm happy that my daughter start to be shaking up to understand what's going on now because she is saying that to me that they are so very strange they say she say about her brother and those two kids that he had he don't have any wife he is by himself 
like a victory for the the devil in him that he have taken those two two kids uh, capture those kids and uh, place the devil's mind inside them and uh, it's terrible i can't do anything that must be in god's plan this to release them from the devil but now yesterday the devil come and talk and he is on his way to release them and um, it's so very scary that uh, is uh, like I they uh, the devil doesn't hide anything for me he's showing up uh, and he know that I can't do anything because it's a spirit thing this and the I can only get help from the spirits in in that way so uh, one one day I uh, when I was allowed to see my grandkids and uh, and we were on IKEA a restaurant and was eating and and my son was away to get uh, food for the kids and I sit by myself with those two kids and the the daughter the girl she was about uh, four years old and uh, suddenly when they sit there it was like she was paralyzed in her mind like uh, she was dead but uh, move around but it was like I felt it was like death to her in a way and she opened her mouth and out come the tongue and the tongue was was going down on almost to her chest it was so long tongue going out and then the tongue was like go walk go moving up up and like looking at me in my eyes so I saw that that's the devil showing himself coming out from my granddaughter's mouth. It was like he's waving and I have somewhere. I, I, I don't know if I still have it, but some, I think I have it on Facebook somewhere. The picture, I could take a picture of her just before the the snake was going into her mouth again. It was so really strange to see it. And I knew that she had this snake inside her. But I didn't... Yeah, you have not seen that on on the boy. So I had a hope for him, but now he's have been taken taken of the devil. He also and I don't know how far it have gone, but like my daughter, she live inside the church and she live with many people and they have lots of children small children and she say that uh, my grandkids are so very strange in their way of acting and saying and these things she's saying so she know that she know the different and uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. There is so much evil things going on that normally 
people don't see it. Ordinary people don't see it. They go for it. And they they join it and they follow it. And um, it's coming up sometimes with about Billy Graham. That big leader in the United States. That uh, is uh, have been... Uh, uh, preacher for the funeral for uh, presidents. Uh, it's he's he's a, a like a hero uh, for many in the United States. And I remember in uh, it was uh, in the late sixties. It was oh, just a war. It was this 1968 uh, about the rebellious, <coughs> rebellious things going on in the Western uh, world. And uh, Billy Graham was to Sweden. And uh, I didn't believe in God. But I was interested of of religions in uh, the way how they working because in uh, in the in the late uh, 68 they were 68 to 1970 uh, they uh, was showing that on television there was for example a, a sect coming to to the television studio and they were in chains all the it was only girls young girls teenage girls like that and they were in chains and there was a man that hold them in the chains and he was from some religious church and uh, there, there was about uh, talking about this because uh, in that late 60s, it was very much about communism. And, uh, and they do rebellion at the university. There was, uh, that is today parents of those people that sit in the government all over the world. Those... Uh, Drinking wine and smoke dope and those things, uh, and uh, they have affect the world. And um, so, uh, in some places, it's it's okay to to sell uh, uh, drugs and and uh, be around and. Sitting and drinking and smoking and those things because they are of that generation and their children have grown up with that. That's okay. But the, the in the seventies, in the early seventies, the the children could sit on the back of the man when they did sex. For example, that was okay, and uh, they was allowed to sit on the table and do number two uh, to the, uh, make instead to go to the toilet. They did it on the table, and these uh, sort of things they grew up with, and this is those children are, have affect the world. It's. It's what's going on if you understand the history. I am so old, so I remember, remember for far away. And Billy Graham was in this, coming to Sweden to take Sweden into his, his group of evil things going on. That uh, the world didn't understood, and uh, there was uh, beautiful Swedish girls, and and uh, I was in that um, 
time when Bill Graham was here that uh, I could I walk out on the street without anything on me on the the top of, of me I had my my breast my tits uh, hanging outside so everyone one could see them uh, I didn't have any bra or nothing I was nude and uh, that's what the time and uh, Bill Graham was um, if I should uh, excuse him that uh, he be teased of this sexual freedom we had in Sweden in that time because he was with Swedish girls and have sex with them and um, it's showing up that it's not easy to know the age of, of people uh, because they can look older and then these uh, girls that he had sex with they were too young they were under under the age uh, so he he was in in the court in Sweden and and he got a, the penetry was that he was not allowed to come back to Sweden he was locked out from Sweden and so he couldn't return but you know uh, the devil is smart so he can come uh, come back in another form in another person so that's what's happened and uh, and see what he he become uh, be like an idol for those many people mostly in United States and be there like uh, at the president's funeral and all the famous people's funerals preaching in his way to preach about Jesus and as a God and um, so the, it's the world have been deceived for so long time so the 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 normal have been the opposite and the, the abnormal have been normal uh, that's what the bible is talking about also it's uh, we are in that time when when bad see look like it's good and uh, good is is bad in the eyes of the world uh, and uh, it's good to hold the door is open to the world to see what it's moving to but we should not hold in there to join it but we can observe things what's going on in the world to only confirm in what time we are in and we are in Noah time and we are in Soda and Gomorrah time and um, if we are going back so so we start to go into before Sodom and Gomorrah and you should should read about it in the Bible what it says before uh, before Sodom and Gomorrah and this with Lot and uh, his wife that be a salt salt stood uh, and this that was before that because then you know the future in that way that you going back and some uh, preacher that have talked to me they have said that it, when I have read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation 
and but I I was thinking I should uh, read it from in the opposite direction from Revelation and to Genesis instead and then I saw some other things it's opened up my eyes when I I study it in that way instead to that the end will be Genesis 1 it's the end and they saw it and um, but I don't think that they hold in to it because they were so burn into them to believe that Jesus is uh, Jesus is God for them uh, Jesus was God walking around here and uh, uh, so they I don't think they really wake up but they saw other things when they read it backwards um, so uh, I think I have say what I should do for today about this. Uh, it was a subject I saw on Facebook this morning, but but maybe uh, I forget what it was, so it was not what I should talk about. So maybe next episode I will talk about that subject that was in the morning. So, thank you for listening. It was a long episode again because I was taken in my mind going back. But it was about Billy Graham I wanted to talk about and a little about what happened yesterday. So, God bless you.